Say hi, buddy. Say hi, Apollo. <laughs> what is going on? Hey everyone, it's Anthony back with another video. I'm just about to jump over into an unboxing, but I figured I'd let you say hi to the new family member. Hi, <laughs> pal. Uh, this is Apollo, and he just came home this past weekend. Um, this is day three, day four. Um, so yeah, let's see. Let's follow him around a little bit. Um, so yeah, um, that's him. I just wanted to do an introduction of the new Puppo. Um, let's jump into this unboxing. All right, so welcome back. I hope you liked that little intro. Um, doing something a bit different here with the camera. It's actually on the reverse of where it normally is. That way I kind of have free range to roam and I can get you nice and centered and I don't have to worry about hitting the hitting the ring light or anything or the, the tripod. So I'm here with Apollo, um, just got him on Saturday and uh, he is definitely starting to show his husky side. The first day and a half he was very, you know, nervous and calm and just kind of kept, you know, just like, like to cuddle and all that stuff. And he still likes to do a lot of cuddling and he's a very affectionate puppy, but He's definitely, you know, once I started setting up and wasn't, I wasn't paying attention to him, he was like, okay, I'm going to start chewing on this over here and chewing on this over here since you're not giving me all the loves right now. So he's got his little tug um, toy and that's keeping him busy right now, but um, that seems to fade in a few minutes. So he's doing all the puppy stuff. But anyway, we're here to get into an unboxing and I thought what better kit from this past, um, Diamond Art Club anniversary event sale um, to pick to do today, um, but Wolfpack. Let me see if I can get you zoomed in there. So this is Wolfpack, and that is a square drill canvas by Barrette Biggers, I believe it is. Um, and so I figured, why not <laughs> you pick this kit to go ahead and kit up uh, for, you know, kind of celebrating um, Apollo coming into the space. So um, yeah, let's see here. I'm wondering just from a camera perspective if I should un flip it this way as if I'm showing you, so upside down, um, or if it makes more sense for me to do this and then flip it. I don't know, I'm gonna do this and then if I need to flip it the other way in editing, I can. Now this is kind of the first time, like I said, doing a reverse setup. So it's all kind of like, it kind of confuses me because I'm like the camera's coming down this way. Usually it's coming down seeing what I'm seeing. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump into it. Like I said, this is a square drill canvas 70 by 93. Wow, that's a pretty big canvas. I'm surprised that, I guess I didn't realize it was that big. It feels heavy. So <laughs> let's go ahead and cut into it. Um, if this is your first time seeing uh, or watching a video here on Single and Play saying, hello, my name's Anthony. Um, I've been diamond painting for um, probably about five months now and I fell into the craft pretty hard. The addiction is real. And so um, I've been picking up some canvases from some various companies and doing some unboxings and figured I'd share them with you all. Um, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to follow along with me as I continue to learn more and more about diamond painting and just the craft in general. Um, we've got whipping chats on the channel. We've got uh, a couple finishes, a bunch of unboxings, some other stuff, and I'll, act I'll actually be filming a whip and chat where, where we will talk all about Apollo and some of the struggles I've had here in the first few days and a bunch of other stuff that went on over the past week. So I try to do videos a couple times a week, no guarantees, but when I do get the opportunity to record these in advance, um, I absolutely do so. So we're... Um, a week in advance, so this is coming out a week from filming. So I'm feeling pretty good about my unboxings. I'm keeping up to, up to date with those, but the whip and chat that I'll be doing tonight will go up tomorrow, so that's a quick turnaround. But uh, yeah, kidding up, um, all sorts of kind of basics. Learn, uh, learn with me. I'm going to be participating in some of the community events, so be sure to you know follow along for those as they come up. But anyway, let's just keep talking about the um, Wolf Pack here. Like I said, square drill from Diamond Art Club. You can tell it's a square drill because it's got that shape there. Otherwise, it'll have a circle for your um, your round diamonds or your drills. So yeah, pretty basic stuff. You've got some instructions on how everything works here, um, kit contents, all that fun stuff. So um, yeah, there you go. Let's go ahead and crack this open. Yay, I'm so excited. Now that I have 
Apollo. I'm like extra excited to work on this kit. Awesome, or work on this canvas. Looks like the kit is a little open there, no problem though. Okay, so within the, um, the box, you're going to get a couple of different things. Let's put that this way. This is gonna be all sorts of upside down, I'm sure, but I think you guys will <laughs> you'll be able to follow along with me. We have Wolfpack here. Da, 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 da. Um, there's a small sticker here. You can use this to put on the box itself um, over that QR code is usually where most people put it. That way, if you are stacking your um, boxes in a closet or storing them somewhere, you don't have to have them all with this facing out. You can see it on the side, so pretty helpful. All right. So first things first, let's talk about this toolkit. We have a few goodies in here. Let's just let's just do the dump. Dump it out. Da, 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 da. Okay, cool. That is everything. Um, this is uh, one of the newer toolkits from Diamond Art Club. Um, I'm not sure if they have fully launched these into every kit now or what the status is on that. So you may not get all of this. Um, the main things that you'd be missing are these two things and some changes to colors and stuff. But um, everything that I've been opening recently has had them. So anyway, uh, first things first, we've got our Diamond Art Club branded uh, pointy tweezers. You get these in the square drill kits, so you can um, you can place your square drills with these. You can make some uh, more finite adjustments to spacing with these. Very nice to have, and they're kind of that ombre pink to white. I really like these. I've got a few of them, so very good sturdy metal. You also have um, some baggies. So when you are storing your drills, which we'll get to those, or the diamonds, you can store them in these baggies as opposed to having to keep them in the packaging that they come with. So you get a bag of baggies. You also get your diamond placing pen. You're going to be able to place a single diamond or drill at a time using that tip there. Let's see if you can see that. Um, and then you also have some multi-placers. So these will allow you to place more than one drill or diamond at a time. You have four and you have seven. So these just pop on the opposite end of that. So you can do one, four, or seven at a time with this pen and these little, little ends here. So there's those. And then we also have a diamond plate or diamond tray or a drill tray as well as a stopper to go on the end there to keep them from spilling out so you'll dispense your diamonds in here give it a little shake they'll go shiny side up and then you're just going to use your pen to grab and place grab and place pretty simple um, we also have a little grippy that's going to go right on top of our pen here just to make it a little bit more comfortable to use um, so that's really nice and then the last few things we have here are our wax. This is wax, um, heart-shaped wax. It's kind of a dark pink wax. Um, this is what you're gonna utilize um, on the tip of your pen. You're gonna compress that down into there, get a little bit of wax in that tip, and that allows you to pick up your diamonds. So two plates of this last quite a long time. And um, you wanna make sure, one thing that I keep hearing is don't forget to remove this little plastic cover that they put over it. Otherwise, it's gonna be a real pain to try to poke through that. So don't forget that that's there. Um, and yeah, they come in a little storage case, which is really nice in the shape of a heart, kind of fun. And then the last two things that we have here, um, this is called a cover minder, or this is a cover minder. This is a fun kind of glittery heart cover minder. I am explained this in the last kitting up uh, that I, or I'm sorry, in the last unboxing I did, I believe, I actually showed how it looks, but essentially you've got the magnet here that came off the back and then the one that's affixed to the cover minder. And then what you're gonna do is when you peel back that plastic um, film that's on top of your diamond painting so you can reveal a section to paint, you can just snap clip that on so that piece goes under this on top and that just keeps that plastic cover back it mines the cover <laughs> that way you can paint in that area without it kind of falling back onto your hands so just a little pin back essentially pins back the um the plastic so there's that and then the last thing i kind of like this pattern it's very simplistic this is washi tape really like that pattern um so washi tape can be used in a number of different ways it's just a, a mild release tape or um, a soft release tape easy release tape almost kind of like masking tape but even more gentle than that it's used i guess a lot in 
journaling and craft um, scrapbooking and just other crafts. You can use this to outline your canvas to cover up any excess of heat adhesive that is around the border of your canvas. That way your arms don't get stuck to it, your sweater or your clothes don't get stuck to it. You can also use this in kind of a cross pattern on that uh, on that cover paper or that plastic film and then you can kind of cut out sections to work on individual sections at a time um, it just makes it for um, some people a little bit easier so you can kind of use this to what they call section off your canvas um, the uh, creator diamonds and washi has an excellent tutorial on how to section off your canvas so i will link her youtube channel in the description box because um, it's a wealth of information. It's kind of where I learned a lot of the more intricate things about um, diamond painting. So there's some washi tape for you. And that's everything that we have in the toolkit. So let's go ahead and talk about the canvas itself. Your canvas from Diamond Art Club is always going to come in this kind of um, plastic cover or plastic tube just to protect it from um, damage, dust, that type of thing. So we're just going to open this. I'm like constantly checking to make sure we're still in, in frame here. So I'm just going to set this plastic piece aside. And then we have our canvas. It's a really nice, soft, kind of velvety finish canvas that's extra thick and nice and durable, which is awesome. So I'm not going to reveal our wolf friend just yet. I want to get the drills out and whoa, there's a lot of drills. <laughs> okay, so um, what you have in here is your um, sticker sheet. This is going to have a larger image of the, um, or a larger print of the image. <laughs> um, and it has your start, end date, the title, as well as the artist here, your size 70 centimeters by 93 or 27.6 by 36.6 square. And then it looks like we're working with 56 colors here. Each one of these little colors is an individual sticker. So you can peel those off and put those on those baggies that we talked about. Or if you have a storage container system that you're using, um, you can stick those right onto the storage container so you can um, easily reference them. So you've got that there. And then we'll see on the canvas that you also have this legend. So you can refer back to that um, as you are painting. So there's that 56 colors. Wow. Um, you also have a thank you for your purchase, just kind of a little info pamphlet with some more detailed instructions, QR code to join the Facebook group, as well as some discount information there for your next purchase. So there's those. Um, all of Diamond Art Club's canvases are poured glue, meaning it, they use a little bit more of a resilient glue. This allows it to um, be a little bit more flexible and hold up to, you know, folds and bends and stuff a little bit better than some of the other styles of adhesive. So it's just a really nice high quality. And what I tend to do is struggle to roll it back on itself. And I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Um, but I do it off camera because I'm still, <laughs> still struggle with it every time. But it just allows it to flatten a little bit more, makes it easier to work on. Of course, you can always lay this flat and it'll just kind of flatten on its own over time. Let's say you just leave it overnight before you start working on it. But just for the purposes of showing this off a little bit better, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. So here's what it looks like kind of rolled back um, on itself. This is just gonna allow it to lay a little bit more flat as opposed to the way it was laying opposite during transit. So, woo! oh my goodness, this thing is huge mungus. Oh my God, I had no idea it was this big. So we're gonna lay it out. I'm gonna do my best so you can get it all, but we're gonna lay it out sideways just so we can take a look. Um, let's see. I want to, I kind of want to show it in the proper direction as much as you can see. Um, so yeah, obviously a little bit cut off at the end there, but this is so cool. So um, let's turn it this way. I'm like obsessed. So I'm like, oh my God, it reminds me of Apollo. Okay, so um, all right. So our little wolf guy here, um, you've got a number of different wolves within that central image. So you've got one, two, three, and then your larger one here for a total of four. Then you also have kind of some forest backgrounds, some trees, um, the sky. I believe there's kind of a mountain scene mixed in here as well. And then just some odds and ends detailing around the wolf um, themselves. So really, really cool. I saw this and I ordered this. Obviously, I just got um, Apollo on Saturday. So I got this before I even knew that 
what was going to happen to my life. So I've just always loved wolves and my best friend Alex has a husky named Maverick who is, I've known since he was a pup and now he, I believe he's eight or nine now. And he's one of the reasons why I decided to get um, a husky, um, Apollo's half husky, half Malamute. And so he was kind of the reason for that. But my original intention was to kind of do this up so it looked a little bit more like Maverick. So um, obviously changed the yellow in the eyes to blue, uh, maybe blue here as well, like a blue AB, because um, they both have those kind of sparkly blue eyes. So I'll probably still do that, but now I'm thinking maybe this is my Maverick, or this is, this is probably Apollo, because this one I think was all white in the image. Let me take a look. Yeah, he's pretty close to all white, whereas this one's kind of a mixed bag of colors. Um, yeah, so we've got the moon up here with some uh, moon here with some mountain scene um, and then just a ton of really cool trees. And it's just a really interesting collage of different um, different things. So I'm absolutely in love with it. I saw it um, on that release schedule for the anniversary sale and I was all over it. So yeah, I might do some adjustments to make it a little bit more husky like, but <laughs> that's neither here nor there. Um, so once again, you're looking at 70 by 93 centimeters. This is a big canvas and the 56 colors. So let's go ahead and jump in. I'm going to mute this for you and double time it. I'm going to open this up and I'll skip all the crinkling for your benefit. Okie dokie. So we've got all of those lying out. So we're going to go through these colors. I'll call out the DMC code. Um, DMC is, um, I believe, a number that's commonly used in cross stitch. And essentially, it's just a color code um, to help identify, you know, which shade is which when you're working with, um, I guess, cross stitched and diamond painting. So we're going to go through that, how many bags we have of each one. I'm going to call out the ABs, uh, of which there are five in, oh, no, I'm sorry, correction, four in this kit. Um, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. Um, it's given that name because it has this kind of film that they lay on top of it that gives it this kind of iridescent color transition, extra shiny and sparkly look to it. It's used quite often in highlighting and to provide just a little bit extra to a canvas. It really helps to refract the light and get, give this really interesting look. Um, I've used it in a previous Diamond Art Club canvas midnight laundromat that I completed last week and it's fantastic. I love using ABs for highlighting effect. Um, sometimes it can be a little bit much in certain canvases, but I really like it as a simple highlight just to add some contrast to a canvas. And Diamond Art Club does an excellent job of identifying where those should go when they're charting or figuring out which colors go where on a canvas as compared to the um, original image. So enough of that. Let's go ahead and jump in. Um, in no particular order, I'm just going to start flipping these and going through them. So we have... All right, here we go. So we've got a tiny little bag of 648, kind of like a, a taupe kind of color, maybe more grayish than that. 762, 935, two bags of those. 101, ding, 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 our very first AB, and I believe that's going to be number one. Um, I can already tell that that's a lot right here in this area, kind of between the eyes. Doing some highlighting, I believe, representing the sky. You also have some here in this area, the tops of the ears here, and then just kind of... Um, I think scattered throughout here on the cheeks, down here. So it looks like it does most of the highlighting, maybe represents sky or water kind of towards the top part of the canvas. Oh, there's a little bit down here as well. So there's that, 779, 3861, 3865. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 bags of 3865. That's kind of a very light ivory, and I believe that's going to be all of the background. So there's a lot of that to work through. Oh, wow, that's a lot. Okay, 937, kind of a forest green, obviously scattered throughout in the trees. Let's go ahead and flip it and flip it. Awesome. Okay. 
All right, we've got a tiny little bag of 782, a tiny little bag of 550, 647, another interesting kind of grayish color, 336, 775, 452, 3841, 451, 414, which is kind of your classic kind of slate gray. We've got one, two bags of that, 317, slightly darker gray, 712, one, two, three, four bags of that, probably another background color, 334, and two bags of 318. So a lot of shades of kind of those slate or smoky grays mixed with uh, within the canvas here. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. So we've got 312 there. 117, our second AB, which is basically an iridescent version of one of those kind of taupey kind of tan colors. Um, so very interesting. That is going to be number three. I can see some of it here. Um, it's probably scattered throughout in really light amounts. There's a couple over here in this area. So it's kind of anywhere where you see those patches of like the browns and tans, it's just gonna add just a little bit of highlight in those areas. So um, it's just kind of scattered throughout very subtly. Not a ton of it, it seems. Not a ton of it. Cool, awesome. 632, 3799, ooh, a really deep gray. I love that. 3346, 938, 3024, 3325, 3860, we've got two bags of that. 413, one bag of 310. 310 is a very common color used in backgrounds and kind of outlining. And so usually most canvases that I work on have a substantial amount of 310, but one little bag. So I can see it's only kind of here, maybe representing some of the twigs and helping to highlight the uh, trunks of some trees. So very minimal. It's also here in the nose and the eyes to outline. Oh my God, those eyes are gonna look so dramatic. I can't wait to look at that and kind of reassess those eyes with some blue. So yeah, 322, 934, two bags of that super deep green. 3371, very deep brown. 415, two bags of that, and 762. And now we've got our last line. Oops, we've got a straggler, our first straggler. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that, actually I'm gonna pop that into a tray here and then um ooh, we've got a couple of stragglers it looks like one of those bags might be slightly open so um you always want to be on the lookout for that um, i try not to manhandle my bags too much um, because um, sometimes they will have been opened in transit or they just didn't get sealed properly in manufacturing so anytime that happens if you start to see some drills kind of um, popping out here and there. Um, grab a tray or something to hold them in and just keep them there. And then when I'm all done here, I put all of these drills in a big um, gallon-sized Ziploc bag and seal that up with the um, with the image. That way I know what kit it belongs to. And then this gets, the actual canvas itself gets hung up on pants hangers and put in the closet. So um, that's how I do it. And then when I go to actually kit this up and officially start working on it, um, I will once again have a tray set aside for all of my loosey gooseys. And if I can, if I can identify which bag they're gonna go in, or which bag they came from, then I'll put them back in that corresponding color or container that I'm working with or bag. That way they're in their home. If I can't find that, then usually what I'll do is I'll have a container and I have one over here. Sorry, this is a total tangent, but I don't hear a lot of people mention this. Um, I have a container for any time I kit up that I just call spare. So these are the drills that either I find just kind of loosey goosey on the table after a diamond painting session or found them hiding out when I was kitting up. They just kind of found their way out of their bags. Or if I, you know, 
have one stuck to my arm at the end of the day and I'm like, what the heck is this? So when I'm working on a kit, I will have this container just called spare. So when I get to the end, if for whatever reason, I'm like one or two short of a particular color, I'll do my best to match that with whatever I find in spares. So this kit that I'm currently working on now, so far I have one, two, three, four, six spares. So I would put these, if I couldn't identify at the time of kitting up which color they are, they would go in spare just in case I need them at the very end. So that's that. That's a little side note. I'm gonna put that tray over here, put this over here, and let's get through this last bag. So we have some really fun colors, which I wasn't expecting something, uh, these such bright colors from this kit. 3801, um, 111, which is our next AB. It's kind of a, um, a purpley fuchsia, 111, and that's number two. And I mean, it's gotta be in these areas with the purple background, you'd think, right? It's just a tiny amount. Let's see what we have here. Oh, here it is. There's some right here. Now that I know what that color looks like, that might be, oh, there's some right here as well. Um, I think that might be, oh, and right here. So one, two, three little spots, just some interesting highlight. Very, very unique. Um, but yeah, just a couple of spots there. We've got 993, 209, 742, 132, which is our final a AB, Aurora Borealis, and that's number four. Let's see where those are hiding out. Um, it looks like right here, here, and in the eyes. So that's our eye color, which I may be changing. <laughs> 356, 208, 38, 37, 704, 939. Such a small amount of that. That's another very popular background color. 33, 47, 436, 823, 158, 798, 38, 34, 792. 327 and 3772. Very interesting hits of some like almost neon rainbow in a kit that, or in a canvas that is otherwise very neutral and kind of a lot of, you know, foresty kind of tans, greens, and grays. So unique touches to this. Looking at the actual photo itself, it almost looks like it's intended to be kind of paint splatter that's been splattered across the entire canvas. So I think these are supposed to be those splatters of like brighter blue, brighter purple, um, but this is so cool. We've got one, two, three, four wolves up here. And so yeah, I, I can't wait. I'm so looking forward to this. This is gonna be a lot of fun, especially working on this next to the, the wolf that we've got hanging out in the craft room with us. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns, if there's anything that I didn't cover that you wish I would have covered, I'll make sure to include it in the next unboxing. Otherwise, thank you all so much for watching the unboxing of Diamond Art Club's Wolf Pack. This is by Barrett Biggers, and it's a 70 by 93 centimeter square drill diamond painting kit. I love it. I'm in love with it. It's going to be an absolute blast to work on. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with friends and family who you think might benefit from um, being part of the single and placing community, and we'll catch you next time. Bye! Bye-bye-bye-bye! Say bye, Apollo!